quick unboxing of the uh, Sugar Comp SW102HF. <laughs> what you get in the box? Oh, nice little leaflet. It's very nice. Uh, USB charger, USB charging cable, and of course the meter. This is BNC connections, uh, covers HF 1.5 to 70 meg or 220 watts. And it's made in China, it's no surprise. USB charging socket there and a ground point there. Let's uh, turn him on. You've got to keep the button pressed to turn it on. Powers up. Then you've got a menu option there. Where you, you've got the light off, which I presume is the backlight. The power off to cycle through these. Um, how long it stays on for before it powers down and power adjustment. Um, to save any of the settings just hold the power button until the LED flashes blue, press save and then you're back to where you are. One of the problems with this one compared to the UHF version, VHF version, it doesn't show the frequency uh, which is a little bit disappointing really. Um, I understand it if you're using sideband and you're going hola or whatever into it but uh, if you set it to CW or uh, FM or Ritty to do your tests then you would at least want to see what frequency it's reading. There's a timer at the top there just to show you how long you've had it running for. I don't really see the point but uh, battery indicator. But what we'll do we'll we'll set it up and we'll give it a test and, and see how it performs against the standard um, SWR meter and, and in comparison to my Marconi radio test set which I tend to trust a little bit more than this sort of equipment, but we'll see how it performs. Using a ICOM 706 Mark IIG, set to 14.2 MHz FM. The TX output from the radio, we're feeding into the RS502 standard SWR meter. The output of that is then fed into the uh, Shurecom SW102HF. Uh, the output of that is then fed into the Marconi 2966A radio test set. We're going to feed 50 watts in. I've tried to keep all the cables to a minimum uh, in length um, so we're not losing too much on that. Um, and what we'll do, we'll do a, a 50 watt transmission and we'll just see what the result is across all three. I've set the ICOM IC706 to power level 6, which I don't know what it actually is, but we'll test it on the Marconi 2966A. And we'll just do a quick transmission. And we're showing 50.1 watts. So let's do a comparison now. Right, the Shurecom is showing 42.84 watts, so it's 8 watts down on where it should be. And the RS502 is roughly showing 50 watts. On the Surecom, there is a setting for power. So, what we need to do is go into the menu. So, we press the power button, go into menu, and select option 3, adjust power. We'll turn that up to, we'll try 50% to see what it does. Cause What do you have? We know. 50. To save it, we press and hold to the blue flashlight. Like LED flashing blue, sorry. Press save. Okay. So if we now do the same transmission again at 50 watts, we're now reading 49.95, which is close enough, really. What we'll do now, we'll do another quick test where we'll up the power to 75 watts or whatever the setting is on this radio that's closest to that. So if I set this to say 
8 power level 8 and see what that does that's showing 82 watts and the mark only showing about 82 watts and the RS502 is roughly showing 80 watts so what do I think of the SW102 HF well if I hadn't got the equipment to calibrate it I wouldn't really know if it was right I've just tried a quick test from the Mark II on the highest power and it came out as 108 watts um, it is into a pure one-to-one -one match sort of thing and the Marconi correlated the same results 107 points something I'm not sure about this uh, adjustment of the measure power I mean according to the manual it says so just measure power offset minus 99 to plus 99 one is up to 1% and minus one is down to 1% is it well I'll keep it I don't know um, I'm just a little bit bemused that it doesn't sort of come calibrated it's also it doesn't show the transmit frequency it's not as nice as the UHF version of this um, I don't know I mean if you hadn't got the ability to calibrate it into a pure 50 ohm load um, with some other meth method of referencing it other than trusting what your radio says as regards power output I would don't know if I'd trust it or not um, SWR seems okay I've tried it into a, an antenna and it does match well, what my spectrum analyzer uh, VNA states so the VWSR seems to be okay but will I trust it? probably not really to be honest oh, something else for the bottom of the drawer